Today, I'm bringing you 10 eco tips for artists. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Ella. My first eco tip for you is to use old rags instead of paper towels for when you clean your brushes. You can make rags out of old clothes that are not good for recycling, just like stained t-shirts, aprons or towels. You can also reuse the paper towels that you have. You just leave them dry overnight and you can use them the next day. I actually did this for the entire month of Inktober and I ended up not even using the entire roll of paper towels this way. Only squeeze the amount of paint that you need on your palette. I think we're all a bit guilty of this sometimes, but just try and have rather too little paint than too much, because then you end up just throwing that paint away and that's not good for the environment. If you use oil paint, use baby oil to clean your brushes. You can also reuse that baby oil, just leave it standing on your desk overnight and let the pigment settle on the bottom. The next day you can pour the baby oil into another container and use it again to clean the brushes. Another eco tip is not to buy palettes because you can use any kind of yogurt, makeup, dip uh, containers that you bring home as palettes. Those things would end up having to be thrown away anyway so it's a really good way to kind of recycle what you bring home nonetheless. If you want to make a glass palette, you should go and have a look at an op shop first for a glass frame before you buy a new one. Use cream brand soaps to wash your brushes and art supplies, and hopefully everything in your home, but do make sure that the brand is actually green and not just green washed. So you just might have to do a little bit of research in the brand before you start using them. Another eco tip for you is to aim to use non-toxic products when you are doing art. I know especially with painting you just can't be 100% eco-friendly unfortunately, but you can limit the amount of toxic mediums or paints that you release to nature when you are, when you for example, when you have to flush the leftover paint water away or something. So just pay attention to the labels, see what they say and try to go for the brands that are a bit more eco-friendly. Try and choose supplies that are recycled. So by this I mean like especially for sketching because they are not the permanent work, you can try and get sketchbooks that have recycled paper. Try to bulk order your art supplies in order to reduce your carbon footprint. If you live near the art shop or have a friend who can help, just walk or cycle there and get your supplies that way. This way you avoid the packaging and the shipping of the products to your home. Skip the, I'll just look around the art shop, I'm not gonna buy anything visits because you probably will buy something that you didn't plan for and you don't really need. The final eco tip for you today is to try always repair whatever you have before you buy a new thing. So if the brush head comes off, try to fix it with super glue first before you throw it away and get a new one. Do you have any more echo tips? I would love to hear them. Leave them down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like my video. I will be seeing you next time. Bye!